Today, talking about posture, it's really important that we understand what good posture alignment is and then how breathing plays a role in this. So if I'm looking at my posture from the side, there's a bone here on the front or of your hip that's called your ASIS, and there's a bone here in the back called your PSIS. Now, if I'm looking from a side view, I want those to be relatively normal. There's a range of what normal is, but we don't want to be really kicked forward like this, and we don't want to be hunched back like this where the ASIS is more uh, superior. The reason being is, essentially, if I peel back the layers of this abdominal uh, wall right here, this is just hollow. From bottom of the ribs here where the diaphragm is to the pelvic floor, it's just a cylinder. And so we don't have muscles inside that cylinder. We have a lot of uh, intestines and things like that. So what really stabilizes the spine in this cylinder is the ability to create intra-abdominal pressure with a good breathing pattern and a good solid core brace. This linea alba her herniation or this diastasis recti, it's just a clear sign that you don't have good breathing or bracing strategies. So let's go over what that looks like. So, especially coming off uh, a pregnancy, if you're just getting back into a routine, this is a good spot to start with your legs elevated because it takes all of the tension out of your body and you can relax. Everybody has a little bit of different lordosis in the back, so you should be able to fit your fingers kind of in between the, the table and the, and the uh, spine here. I don't want you slamming or, or forcing your back into the table here. And what we're gonna start with is just a breath, probably taking 10 to 20 good slow deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and what you're feeling for is expansion in the abdomen here. You don't want the chest to come up. If we're breathing with the chest, there's no way we're gonna be able to use the diaphragm to help create intra-abdominal pressure. So, put your fingers, just make two little claws like this, press them into your side, one kind of um, closer to the table and one in your abdomen, uh, kind of a couple inches lateral of your belly button. And as you breathe, and I'm kind of pinching into my sides, as you breathe, you should feel your sides really expand out like this. I don't want you to only think about belly going towards the ceiling, but I really want you to think about kind of expanding the ribs as you breathe. And it should be a relaxed process. It shouldn't be something you're forcing. So once you have the ability to get that good breath and really feel what a good belly breath feels like, and it, could, it might be a little difficult. This step alone might take several days or weeks to get in the habit of, because especially after pregnancy, your, your diaphragm's kind of used like worn as a hat on your baby for several months. So being able to get that back activated and moving well and breathing well is a process in and of itself. So once you got that, now we can start talking about a good bracing strategy. So this is gonna be the bracing strategy we use with all of our exercise, all of our core work. And what we're gonna do is really focus on a nice, good, solid brace first. Meaning if you came up and punched me in the stomach, I would brace my belly or lock down or tighten down my belly so it didn't hurt me. So what that bracing strategy is gonna feel like, if I'm relaxed and I cough, <coughs> I will feel my sides, I'll feel this musculature push out into my hand. And so the goal now is, can I reproduce that that kind of pushing out or that bracing out, staying nice and tight into my fingers, just like I would if I <coughs> cough real hard, right? So get that feeling down, making sure that as you brace, you're pushing your fingers out of your abdomen. If I'm pushing in real hard, my brace is pushing those fingers out. And then we gotta figure out how to breathe. So can we lock that belly down and continue to breathe. It's not gonna be a nice relaxing breath like we just talked about, but we gotta be able to breathe in that position. Then we just go through some different kind of core challenges. So locking down the core, breathing properly, we're gonna lift the legs up, again, making sure we're not smashing the back. There should be some normal uh, space between our back and the table if we, if we remain neutral. If anything, if you wanna put a, a, a band or something beneath the ribs right here that would be anchored to a point by the camera, we could do that and try to pin that band down, but don't try to pin something down with your low back. And then we're gonna to try to lock in. So we might just start by breathing, embracing, and marching. If we can do both legs at a time, we'll hold them up here and start to come down like this. And again, we're just working the skill of bracing and breathing. We come out one at a time. As long as our spine's not arching while we do that, that is the whole idea of this dead bug exercise. So we're trying to learn po proper alignment, keep the ribs over the pelvis, breathe comfortably, and maintain a good brace. And if we can get that down, then we can move on to these next steps where we start talking about improving pelvic floor and improving the core strength. 
So it's a process. It's not one thing. It's not one exercise, but get this down and then we'll talk further about how we're going to help this diastasis recti.